it's a rainy day today a bit gloomy and I'm sitting at home so today let's make an espresso and let's give a break to my Breville machine today and let's use this machine this is the E61 group head machine and let's use this today So last day I made a ristretto using Breville Barista Express and I really enjoyed the taste of ristretto because it's more concentrated and less bitterness. So it is more sweeter and bolder. So I'm going to make the same ristretto today but using the other machine, the E61 group head. So let's see if there is any taste difference and I'll be using the same quantity and the same grind setting and I'll follow the same steps. So let's see if there is any difference. So let's take 18 grams of beans. This is the one I roasted last day. And it's a medium roast. And let's take 18 grams. Okay, so last day when I made, I took 18.04. So this is 18.0605, which is exactly the same. So let's use this beans. My grind size was at one. So let's use the same setting. Okay, so I've set it at one and let's use the beans and let's dose it into the same cup. So my potter filter is nice and warm. You could barely touch it's that warm. So I'm just breaking the big clumps uh, so that we can distribute it well and tamp it. So I'm going to use this tool, tool that I bought recently. I've done a review of this. It's a very handy and very heavy tool, uh, which is uh, the brand name is Hender. So do check my channel. Okay, so let's distribute it and then tamp it. did a good job and let's stamp it using the other side okay so let's pull a shot and see so the first thing is I'm going to purge some water this will ensure the group head temperature is stable and all the steam water, it's gone. It should be good. Now I'm going to use my scale and the shot glass.
Now this shot glass is too small for the spout. So I'm going to use a bigger cup. Uh, let's use this one. Now this one is 58 mm compared to the Breville's 54 mm. So even the Potter filter is large. So let's use this today. Okay, that fits in perfectly. And I have the weighing scale just below it and I'm going to tear it. Okay, so let's pull a shot and I'll get a better angle. So for ristretto, I'm going to target, the, the scale is now showing in grams. So I'm going to target between 20 and 25 grams and I'll be targeting one ounce of espresso and then I will stop it. So I'll use this liver, I'll do a pre-infusion of five to 10 seconds and then we'll do the extraction for uh, 20, 25 grams and we'll stop it immediately. So let's begin. I hope you can see better in this angle. Okay, ready, steady, go. So this is the pre-infusion. Okay, 10 seconds and let's extract. Okay, so I got 22.6 and the shot looks good. Okay, there's a lot of steam in the cup because there's a lot of heat radiating from the group head. Uh, so let's taste it and see if that matters. Now before that, let's look at the, the ounce. So 22, almost 23 grams out and that's 0.811 ounce almost one ounce so the results are very similar to what i got in breville even breville i got 8.8 ounce and the timing also everything looks similar i think breville we see a lot of crema in breville that's the only difference i see here but the taste matters now here's the top view of the espresso. So it's time to taste this ristretto. Almost one ounce of concentrated espresso drink. Wow. Okay. Now I can taste every, the, all the flavors from this coffee. The sweetness, the baldness, everything is there. But when I took the first sip, initially I felt a bit very strong. Um, I think this tastes slightly stronger than the Bravo's extraction. There's a bit of sourness at the beginning, but once you swallow, then you get the sweetness and uh, it tastes great. So taste wise, it's very close. I'm not trying to compare really between Bravel and this machine, uh, but, but this is very close, almost similar. So what taste do I prefer? Is it this one or the Breville? I would say the second extraction that I took out of Breville, I think that's that will be my first preference. And then I would say this one. Now all of these are very close. I'm just picking up minute difference. taste amazing so if you haven't tried it at home please do try it this is a very concentrated drink ristretto 
you could make latte out of it this can be your base and then you could add milk to make it a better drink i made the uh, ristretto base added milk on top it tastes wonderful that's so refreshing amazing cup of ristretto the only difference i did is i used this grinder for the e61 group head machine but i used the the default bravels grinder uh, for bravels extraction now both were set at one the finest setting and that's comparison i think it's a fair comparison even the weight was 18 grams so yeah so pretty much very close and uh, that's my honest review of ristretto so after extraction i prefer to do a quick cleanup of the group head and the machine let's discard this Now I would like to run uh, some water through the group head. This will ensure the group head is clean. And then I use a brush like this while I dispense the water. Mainly onto the side. You don't have to rub really hard because remember the group head screen is sensitive so you have to be careful there now once you have purged you're good to go you can switch off the machine so i'll be posting more videos related to coffee and comparison so if you are new to my channel please do subscribe i would really appreciate that i'll be posting more videos related to coffee so see you guys next time bye